So the so the next one. This is Job Corps. I'm sleep at the Job Corps Center. It's right about 2017. So I'm asleep, right? Then all of a sudden, I just get up. And I just start punching the shit. You know what I'm saying? It really looked like the fucking. I think I watched Iron Legend a little too much. Remember how um when Swell Smith set that trap and then um he got caught on the string and they flew out like a bat out of hell on the string. Imagine them without without the damn um Imagine the imagine the zombies flying out on that trap, but they flying towards you without without the uh, blanket on them. Man, I must have started punching them so damn hard. I said one, two, three, four. Punch one of them. One of them bounced, bounced their head and hit hit the, hit my damn um my locker. Four, five, six, seven. By the time I got to to the ninth one, man, three of them jumped on me. I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, man, having dreams about the shit like that, it don't be cool. I don't care how tough he is. I just know I woke up in the middle of the night with hot sweats, and shit like that. I'm like, "Damn, what the fuck going on?" You know what I'm saying? I was covered up and everything, and shit like that. Same way how, how I covered myself up when, before I went to sleep. Like, damn. What's going on? Heard, heard, heard a couple of people from down the hall complaining about some shit. Oh my God, there's a ghost in the room. Whoa. They was out there complaining for about an hour, then they went back to sleep and went to sleep. <laughs> Jeffrey, is that you? Can you please not beat me up? Hell no, y'all the reason why I'm dead. That's all I heard. <laughs> y'all kept talking about me and shit like this, scared the share of me until I had a heart attack. I'm like, whoa. I kind of knew that there was some ghosts, but that motherfucker, the first night there, second or third night. I woke up in the middle of the night. I felt like someone was rubbing on my face. I'm like, what the fuck? I instantly got up. It looked like something flew flew net near somebody somebody um locker on the other side of the room. Who who's our roommates with? Fucking Julio. That one dude in. That Asian dude. I'm like, what the fuck? Asian dude was way on the farthest, farthest part. It flew near his shit. I'm like, he better not have a Ouija board up in this motherfucker. Motherfuckers like to do the most stupidest shit. I moved to a different room, and then I moved to another room after that. The second room. This white boy moved in here, and, and the motherfucker, right? Before we went to sleep. This motherfucker put, put setting up his phone and shit like that, pointing towards towards his shit. I was like, "What are you doing?" He was like, "Oh, I'm just filming and shit like that." You know what I'm saying? Just, just for videos from the past when I get to the future. If I do get to the future, why you say that? Well, I'm just checking for things paranormally. I said, "If you're going through something, man, just you better turn that motherfucking camera off." If it get worse, that's why it's getting mad. Whatever the fuck it is. He's like, oh yeah, huh? I'm like, yes, huh? Shit, I just got through beating up some some motherfucking zombies. Little little that he know. <laughs> I was getting off too. Yeah, it be it be some weird shit, man. It be some weird shit. But other than that, I feel sorry for the dude. He kept playing with this with this tennis ball every single single fucking fucking uh time we didn't have to go to like trade and shit. He was just bouncing on the on the wall and shit. He left it he left it on the ground 
went to go take a shit. I threw it away. I heard a rumor that it, that his dad took his ball and put it inside of a ball. Ooh. It did have have a stitch in the middle. Uh oh. You mean to tell me your dad took your took your left nut and put it in a tennis ball? What the fuck? I would have been went to the hospital, told him put that shit on my damn self and cut that motherfucker. Fuck that. And then you throw your ball up inside against the thing. He couldn't have no kids anyway. You can only get kicked in your nuts about four or five times, and then that's it. You can't have no kids. <sighs> I got kicked in the nuts about three times. Hit myself in the nuts one time. Uh-oh. Oh, well, if I get rich, I have more money for me. My, if I can, no kids. My girl wants some. I will go adopt some shit. The baby needs to sleep in it. Motherfuck. <laughs> Sleeping on your side. Side of the bed. <laughs> Pissy ass little kids. Fuck that shit. Oh, baby, the little boy's in there. Hey, the little boy better take his scary ass in there. He's safe. He got his own room. We got big ass dogs and shit like that. Ain't no monster up in this motherfucker. If there is, it ain't paranormal. It's something else. It's probably some other world shit. If it was paranormal, the damn dogs would have kept barking. And that never stopped. Shit. You good? If there was something evil like that, we got a kitty cat. The motherfucker would have came and started looking everybody in the eyes at 12 o'clock at night. Trying to wake you up. Shit. If we had a line, the motherfucker wouldn't come in the house in the first place. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking playing with you. I'm not playing with you, brother. If it's bad enough, then that wouldn't matter, brother. Good night, y'all.